Hi, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, <coughs> sorry, excuse the coughing, um, um, do some, uh, some audio for this. Um, hopefully I'll be able to, <coughs> I'll um, be able to keep going. Um, I do have a bit of cough. Um, okay, so it's a must be true question. Uh, we're not going to uh, be critical of what's being said or try to find um, any kind of flaw with it. We're just going to assume that it's all true. <coughs> and um, hopefully uh, we can make some kind of connection between the statements. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, the main point is just, we don't wanna add anything to this and we don't want to uh, be critical of it. Um, uh, yeah, we're not trying to find a conclusion um, or premises or anything like that. Um, these are just, uh, statements, um, as far as we are concerned or as much as we care for the question, right? Um, okay. So a philosophical paradox is a particularly baffling sort of argument. <coughs> so they are defining philosophical paradox here. Um, and they're saying it's, um, like an especially confusing sort of argument. Uh, why is that? Well, your intuitions or your, your gut um, tells you that the conclusion of a philosophical paradox is false. So they, that this argument, uh, which is what a philosophical paradox is, right? They've told us it's an argument, um, that the conclusion of the argument is false. Your, your gut tells you it's, it's false. Your intuition tells you it's false. But um, your intuitions also tell you that the conclusion follows logically from true premises. So it tells you that the logic um, of the argument is, um, is good, right? The conclusion follows logically from true premises. So the, um, the follows logically part that's saying that there's like nothing wrong with the logic. There's no logical fallacies in the argument. That's what your intuition tells you. And it also is telling you that that's coming from true premises. So that the premises are true. So um, your intuitions tell you the premises are true, the logic is sound, and yet at the same time tell you that the conclusion is false, right? So that's why it's particularly baffling or you know especially confusing, in other words, um, and a paradox. It's not what you expect, right? You expect that if your intuition tells you the premises are true and your issue, intuition tells you that the logic is valid, um, that your intuition would also tell you the conclusion is true, but instead it's telling you the conclusion is false. Um, so solving a philosophical paradox requires accepting any one of three things. So if we're going to solve a philosophical paradox, we have to accept um, at least one of these three things. Uh, we have to accept that the conclusion is true, even though our intuitions tell us it's false. We have to accept that at least one of the premises is not true, even though our intuitions tell us that the conclusion follows logically from true premises. So we're going to have to go against our intuition um, in this um, in this sense um, as well, it's um, giving us an option to go against our intuition, right? So um, we would be going against our intuition to accept that the conclusion is true because our intuition tells us it's false. We would be going against our intuition to believe that one of the premises is not true because our intuitions tell us that there are true premises um, or that the conclusion doesn't really follow logically from its premises. So we'd be going against our intuition, which is telling us that the conclusion does follow logically from true premises. So no matter what we do of these three options, and we have to do at least one of these things in order to solve a philosophical paradox, we would have to go against our intuition. So um, if all of these statements are true, then it must also be true um, that A, solving a philosophical paradox requires accepting something that intuitively seems to be incorrect. So we're accepting something that our intuition is telling us is 
not the case. So we're going against our intuition. Um, so A should be the correct answer here. There we go. Okay, I hope that helps.